When I hear sentences like, what do you want to do when you grow up? I start thinking career-minded, like doctor, writer, singer, actor, homemaker, and so on. But when the question changes to, who do you want to be when you grow up? My mindset changes also to thinking about character or personality. I think of being a person who's compassionate, kind, moral, tolerant and gentle, being a person who has integrity. Making a difference in the world starts with who we are, not what we do. I think, as Christians, the question should not be, who do you want to live for? It might be better to say, who do you want to live like? Jesus may have fed 5,000, but he never opened a food chain of stores to do it. He only did what his father told him to. Your life matters, and you don't have to be in ministry to affect your world. God works in mysterious ways. My husband is a stonecutter. It's a hobby of his that got out of hand. I was telling a friend about it at the hospital while visiting his mother, and I happened to mention how it bothers me that I can't get him to wear a mask. Although we don't see the fine silica dust that rises up when he's cutting because he does cut with water, I would feel he was much safer wearing a mask. My friend shared something with me that I think is worth repeating. His specialty is home repairs, flooring, and so on. He had been working in a residential area. The woman of the house just happened to be home. They had crack filled and sanded once. The chore for that day was fine sanding. Just before he got started, she noticed that my friend had no mask on. She quickly retreated to another room and reappeared with a mask in her hand. My friend smiled politely but shook his head, declining the mask. She insisted, Take it. I'm a nurse, and I've seen only too often the long-term effects of not wearing a mask has on people. So if you're going to sand in my house, a mask is compulsory. But the worst is already over, he replied. Hardly, she responded. Of course, you should always wear a mask, but it's that fine stuff that does the most damage. He took the mask, placed it over his face, and finished the rest of that job protected. His brief encounter with that little nurse changed his life in a positive way. He has not only worn a safety mask ever since, he now endorses them. This woman cared enough about her fellow man to not only share her knowledge, but she enforced it where she could. She may never know how her influence has taken hold of my friend or his employees. It impressed me, and now I'm passing it on to you, and that might help prolong someone else's life. That's God working through one woman on her day off. Another talented author friend of mine who counsels and does workshops called me last night in tears. She said, here I am struggling to get myself out there, feeling like nothing I do really matters, and I get this letter from a woman in prison. I was doing a workshop in the institution when I met her. She shared a bit of her life, and I shared a bit of mine. I happened to have a copy of my book with me, and I told her I'd leave it for her with security, and I did. It's been five years since that took place. She read my book and was encouraged. But what she wrote to tell me was how God worked through me to save her life back then. I had forgotten the hug I gave her that day when I was leaving. I also whispered in her ear, you'll make it. She wrote to tell me she was on the verge of suicide, ready to give up when she thought of me. That hug you gave me, she said, was real. It was the first human contact I had in five years. Those words, you'll make it, reinforced my courage. God is no respecter of persons, you said. He did it for you and he'll do it for me too. God brought you here to give me hope. As we ended our conversation that day, my friend said, you just don't know what God's going to take from your life to bless someone else's. And you don't. This is Linda Lewis. And I once heard it said that learning is when you suddenly understand something you've understood all your life, but in a new way.